Year's legislative session down to the wire, but there may still be time for lawmakers to pass new gambling legislation. A conference committee working on a compromise bill held a public meeting today. It appears they found some middle ground. Until now, the House and Senate both supported a proposed lottery, but could not agree on casinos or sports betting. WSFA 12 News reporter Brady Talbert has more from that meeting. He's joining us live from the State House. Brady? Yes, lawmakers have found an agreement. They are in favor of a state lottery only if 100% of that money benefits public education. Additionally, they were okay with slot machines, but only at approved locations. That includes racetracks in Green, Jefferson, and Macon counties, and bingo halls in Green, Houston, and Lowndes counties. However, they did say no to other forms of gambling. They were against both sports betting and table games. That includes roulette and blackjack. Senator Greg Albrin spoke with reporters today. He was asked about the biggest difference between what the Senate approved and what was announced today. The electronic uh, gaming is probably the biggest difference. I would suggest that, that number one. Um, and there are several other issues um, that, that may be different in languages. Uh, for instance, the, the sports uh, gaming, sports betting. Um, this bill doesn't particularly forbid sports betting, other than the point that it says everything is forbidden except this. So we think we've got that base covered, but I think there's probably some disagreement as to whether that would be or not be. And for gambling to become legal, it still needs to go through both the House and the Senate. And this is the biggest thing, Mark and Val. They have just five days to do it. We are in the final days of the session. Brady Talbert with that update live tonight outside the State House. If that gaming, gaming legislation is indeed passed, it would then go on to the voters for final approval. A special election would be scheduled for August. The last time Alabamians voted on gaming legislation, they voted down a proposed lottery in 1999.